Border Gateway Protocol BGP, is a protocol for exchanging routing information between gateway hosts in a network of autonomous systems. In CA's spectrum, BGP peer session monitoring polls the status of the peering session between two BGP devices. If a WAN link is down, BGP transition alarms are triggered on the device models in CA's spectrum. To troubleshoot the problem, you need the poor details of the link. You can find the poor details of the link in the CA's Spectrum Alarms console. To do that, you need to filter the events and navigate to the event details. At times, this can be a time-consuming process. Having poor details in the alarm title can help you to connect to the one link quickly. As BGP transition alarms are asserted on the device models, you may not know the poor details of the one link from the alarm title. CA's Spectrum allows you to configure a dynamic alarm to reflect the port details in the alarm title. Let us see how this is done. Click Start Console. Type the required credentials and click OK. The CA's Spectrum One Click Alarms console is displayed. You can use the Event Configuration Editor to configure the dynamic alarm title on an event. To access the Event Configuration Editor, Click Tools, select Utilities, and then click Event Configuration. The retrieving of events is initiated. In the Navigation pane, search for the event code specific to a BGP alarm. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have already retrieved the event code for a BGP alarm. To view the associated event message, select the event code. The value of the peer router event variable enables the interface IP to be visible in the event details. By default, all alarms in CA's spectrum are static in nature and do not reflect the IP address in the alarm title. Let us now configure the dynamic alarm to reflect the interface IP in the alarm title. Before we configure the dynamic alarm title, we need to change the criticality of the current alarm from critical to none. To continue, select none. To create a new event, click the Create New Event button. The Create Event dialog box is displayed. You can modify the event code and the event message. For the purpose of this demonstration, the event message of the default event has been used. To continue, click OK. In the navigation pane, you can view the new event in the list of available events. Notice that the new event has the event message of the default event. In the Event Details section, you can update the alarm type. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have updated the alarm type as BGP established. You can also update the alarm symptoms, probable causes, recommended actions and alarm options. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have kept the default messages for these options. To continue, click Alarm Options. Notice that under Alarm Options, the Alarm is User Clearable option has been selected. If required, this will allow you to manually clear the alarm. We have created a new event and configured the alarm details. Let us now configure a BGP established trap to clear this event. A BGP established trap clears the alarm automatically after an issue is resolved. In the navigation pane, filter the event code of the BGP transition trap. For the purpose of this demonstration, the event code has already been filtered. To continue, select the event code, and then click the Add Cleared Alarm button. The Add Cleared Alarm dialog box is displayed. To associate the BGP established trap with the new event, click the Browse button. From the list of available cause codes, select the cause code for the new event. To continue, click OK. The BGP established trap is associated with the new event. To save your changes, click File, and then select Save All. Click Yes. We have created a new BGP event and associated a BGP established trap with it. In the next step, we will update custom code to configure the dynamic alarm title for this event. Browse to the Spectrum folder in your computer, and navigate to the Event Disk file within the Events subfolder. 
open the file, and update the custom code. The custom code will enable the interface IP to be visible in the alarm title. After you have updated the custom code, click the Save button. For the changes to take effect, you need to update the event configuration. Navigate to the Universe container in CA's Spectrum 1 click Console, and then click Update Event Configuration. Click Yes. Now, when the BGP is down and an alarm is generated, the interface IP will be visible in the alarm title. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.